Jamie was somebody who Richard was, has always been fascinated with his work. Um, uh, uh, obviously, he was the lead of Wants to Kill Himself, and you know, which is a brilliant little movie. And, and, uh, and you know, Richard always wanted to hire some Scottish for the role. He didn't want to sort of parachute in some well-known English actor because it's an Edinburgh story. It wouldn't really make sense for it not to be an Edinburgh person playing the part. And Richard's great company. He's got a fantastic energy about him, you know. And he's a real kind of leader, you know. We don't like Germans behind a tank, you know, <laughs> just peering out to see if it's all right. And Richard is just head on, you know, and it's uh, and it's great. He's got some fantastic ideas, you know. I'm very proud of him in a way. He's a man who wears many hats, you know, unashamedly so, you know. And will just kind of dip his finger into into all sorts of things and give it a go. He's very brave that way. And we got it. I think he did an amazing job. I mean, I think. You know, I think he's Scotland's answer to George Clooney, you know, he's got a, a great look about him, he's quite a sexy guy, but he's also got a melancholy that I like, he's got sadness in his eyes, and the character had to have that. I mean, it's quite a melancholy piece, there's not a lot of laughs in this film. But if the director didn't have a vision, it would fall apart, you know, you can't put teams together, you know, made up of people that have not done it before, you know, it's a very intricate process.